Hi guys! So today we are going to make um, some dog collars, um, some beautiful scarves for your dog that's going to um, hang on by the collar um, of from your dog. So um, pretty really really easy project. You can actually be done with this in about 15 minutes. Let me tell you what you're going to need in order to get started for this. Okay, here are some different examples. Okay, all right, this is for an extra small dog, but we're going to be working on a bigger one today. But just to get you started, you need to have a fat quarter. Um, you can choose anything. Um, these are the fat quarters and you can buy them at, um, I got this one at Walmart. You can get them at Walmart or use some scraps that you have. We're going to use this kind today. Um, this is a fat quarter. So you need a fat quarter. You need to either have your rotary cutter, um, scissors, um, you need to have tailor's chalk, um, which we'll be using briefly, um, and a ruler of some sort along with the fabric. Okay, so for the medium size that we're going to do today, this is, I'll put the measurements down um, below the video, but this is 14 inches wide going across. We have two inches going down on each side. And then we have the middle of it that's going down to um, nine inches on the bottom. This is going to be for a medium sized dog. Okay, so that's what we're going to work on. I do have some patterns already cut here, but um, you know what? We will use these that's already cut. I was going to use a new one. I was going to show you how to cut it, but I don't think I need to show you how to cut it. So um, I'm going to use these today, okay? I'm just going to pick two of these. You can pick any color that you want, any pattern. You can have the pattern the same on both sides, or you can choose to have one side that has a pattern, and you can choose one side that has a solid color. The actual band, the color band will be reversible, so it doesn't matter what you choose. So go ahead, cut some fabric. Um, you're going to have um, a front side and you're going to have a back side, okay? All right, guys, so I am back. I came over to um, the sewing table. I have two pieces that I decided that I was going to use the same pattern on the back and the front for. Okay, so what you're going to do right now, turn these fabrics so that they are facing each other, pretty side to pretty side. Okay, so right side to right side. We want them together. Okay, and I'll just show you so that your patterns are facing each other. And what we're going to do right now, we are going to sew these two together. So we're just going to sew one straight line right across. You can use about a quarter inch seam. I am sewing with my stitch length on three. You can use 2.5 if you would like to. I'm going to use three. Okay, and again, you can use a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Don't forget to back stitch. Um, that will be important later. Okay. Make sure that you hold your pieces together just in case they slide. They shouldn't because I'm using 100% cotton, but you never know if you decide to use a different kind of fabric or not. Okay, I'm at the end and I'm going to backstitch. Okay, so take that out right there. I'm using my snippers. These are my favorite. Okay, so um, we now have the top that's sewed um, from left to right. Um, remember, this is going to be where the collar goes in. We will form a casing later on. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to open up this pattern. Okay, so you're looking at one big, what looks like a square here. What we're going to do is open up these seams, press them down with your fingers, so you're finger pressing. Don't worry about going over to the iron, spending time over there right now. So we'll get to that later. 
fold over about a quarter of an inch the ends okay so that you're just getting this folded over we are basically making um, the end for the casing right now so what we are doing is we are creating this part of this right now that's what we're doing okay we're doing this okay all right so we're going to fold this over and what we're going to do we're going to put this underneath the sewing machine and we want to sew down we want to sew right down this line right here okay to close this hole up okay walking foot is up and remember to back stitch and the reason that we're sewing this casing is because we don't like to see raw edges on finished products so by closing up these raw edges it will give us that pretty outside that's what we want a clean finish okay so let's do the other side open up those seams that you've already sewed uh, you can snip any loose fabrics any loose threads that you have okay so close that area in the same way that you've done on the other side and just repeat what you just did okay you're going to sew this over okay try to stay close to the raw edge okay remember to back stitch we want to lock in those stitches and believe it or not you are almost done with this your little pooch will have a very beautiful um, collar um, beautiful bandana momentarily okay cut off those little snip those little fabric ends okay so right now what we're going to do is we're just going to lift this up okay and what we want to do is make sure that you measure out and just make sure that you line these up so that your ends are lined up nice and neatly okay and we are going to close this up so this is very very simple guys so what we're going to do all right we are going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance down to the end we're going to pivot come right back around and sew to this point here what's important for this right now is that this is the line where you want to start where you want to sew because we're going to create a casing later on okay so let's put that under the machine actually you know what let's start sewing right up here so you see that so that's about a quarter of an inch up okay all right we want to line up your walking foot along with the edge of the fabric close up those ends my fabric is shifting a little so I'm just going to hold it and I have a habit of back stitching <laughs> okay turn that fabric around make sure it's lined up at your ends okay give it a tiny little bit of pull just to um, create a little bit of tension there we almost done all right remember to back stitch we've created a bandana but we're not done yet we need to turn this inside out um, oh I have this hook um it's a hook a hook eye <laughs> at the end of this I don't know if you can see it but um, there's a little hook here and this is really good for when you want to turn things inside out that's really um, that has a small opening so you just stick this little hook right inside stick it inside and then what you're going to do is hook that on to the end of your fabric there you see that hook it on there and pull your fabric through okay all right so we did that got it through hold with one hand 
pull the bandana through with your other. Okay. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to go over to the iron. So make sure your iron is on, um, put it on your cotton setting. Let's go over to the iron and flatten this out and make this look really good, okay? Because we don't want to leave it like this. We want a nice, pretty, clean, um, professional look. So I am over at my iron right now, and as you can see, um, I didn't do anything yet. This is the way it is from when I flipped it, okay? So you'll see that your seams look like this. We don't want to leave it like that, so what we want to do is we want to iron this down and make it all nice and pretty so that it, you know, looks professional. So take your iron, and we want to iron down the edges, okay? flatten out those seams okay sometimes your fabric shifts that's normal okay oh, it looks pretty now now you have two choices actually you can choose to leave it just like this if you want it to um, I don't like to leave it like that because I love top stitching everything. Um, it almost gives it that finished look. Some people prefer to leave this like this and you can just run the collar through. That's not what we're going to do. We are going to right now create, um, finish off this casing where we have this stitch line here, this top stitch line for the collar. So what you're going to do with that, you're going to take your item, head right over to your cutting mat, wherever it is that you're going to cut at. Okay, and this is where the ruler and the chalk is going to help you. Okay, I've lined mine up directly right here with uh, my grid line on my mat. Love this mat i love it okay so i've lined it up right there and what i want to do this ruler here the reason i love it is because it's already separated it's already um divided into inches for you no hard work nothing that you need to think about i am going to create the casing to be one inches one inch wide and what i'm going to do is i am going to use the chalk the tailor chalk. You can use um, a fabric marker or a fabric pen to if you would like to. I'm going to use my tailor's chalk because this is actually washable and all I have to do is um, take a wet cloth, a, white, um, a wet piece of cotton and wipe this off of the um, fabric when I'm done with it, when I'm done sewing. So start off any way you want to. Create a line one inches wide Okay, um, for a dog, a collar is no thicker than one inches. Okay, so you should see your line. The whole idea of the chalk is so that you know that it's washable. You can see this line. Can you guys see it? So, all right. So what we're going to do is go now. We're going to sew right on top of this line. The reason I also like um, Taylor's chalk is because... Um, this line shows you when you put it underneath your walking foot um, to sew, it helps you create that straight line. You ever see sewing where, you know, people's lines are crooked? This is the best. This helps you and it's washable. You get to have straight lines. All right. So let's go back to the sewing table. All right. So we are back at the table again, back at the sewing table. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew that line right now that we actually, don't worry about my nails, guys. Don't worry about my nails. Um, we're going to sew that line right across um, that we just created over at the table. So um, line up the, your chalk right along with the guide marker here. That's there to help you. Okay, this space right here, I don't know if you can see it, but what I'm doing is I am using this guide marker here to show me where um, the chalk line is because that tells me where my needle is going to go. Okay, so I'm going to 
backstitch, of course. My machine does it automatically. I don't know if yours does, but I like to do, give it an extra stitch. Okay, so I'll start sewing down that chalk line. You're going to get a really nice straight line, and I promise you won't regret it. We're getting to the end, and I'm going to back stitch again. And guys, guess what? You are actually done. Okay, so we have just created this very beautiful. Cut off any stitch, any um, threads that are loose and hanging around. That's why this comes in handy. If you look at my tutorial um, that shows you um, some of the basics that you need for sewing. I actually mentioned that this is one of my very favorite things right here, the snipper, because the scissors are so thick that it doesn't get, um, it doesn't get the tiny threads that are close to your knots that you have. So, but these are pointy. This gets right down at them. Okay, so look what we've just created. That's all. And so I'll give you, um, I'll show you an example. I don't have a dog. I'm making this for someone, but um, this is where the collar will go in. I'm using my handy dandy chopstick just to show you. But look, so imagine that being the collar, okay? And then um, the collar will just wrap around and they have a beautiful, beautiful bandana. Okay, guys. So I'll be making another video where you can actually see how to make a dog bow, a bow tie to go with this. So if you want to see that, just make sure that you click on over and check out that video or you can look at the blog. OK. All right. Everything will be posted down below um, at the bottom of the video. So I'll put the pattern sizes down there for you to see. And I will put a link to the tutorial if you want to see the pictures. Step step. That's all. See you guys next time.